Hello class, Mr. Stone here. What we're going to talk about today is the distributive property, um, multiplication, addition. Um, I kind of show quite a few examples here. If you look at it, the problem is 4 with parentheses x plus 3. So you break that out. You really just carry the 4 as you see the arrows are above. You multiply the 4 times the x, so you get 4x. You multiply the 4 times the 3, you get 12. So the answer is actually 4x plus 12. And that's all there was to that. Let's get this pen going. So that'd be your answer right there. Now, below there, I showed another one. It's 6x plus 2. So you, you just go 6 times x plus 6 times 2. So your answer is 6x plus 12. How I like to kind of do this is... You can see, like, the next one below there, it's really the same one, but they show it with the arrows. And these arrows are kind of important. They help you keep track because right now you only have two things in there, X plus two. But down the road, you might have four things or five things. So if you, you get in the habit of using the little arrows, you, you know, I already did that one. I did this one. I did this one because some of them might look very similar. Okay? So it's common to use that. Okay? Now... Then below there, I put one more example. So it's three brackets, seven plus four. So as you see, you carry it over th three times seven plus three times four. You bring that down, you get 21 plus 12. And the answer's 33. Square that off so the teacher knows, hey, that's your answer. And that's really all there is for the distributive property. Um, sometimes you'll put fractions in there. You just work through the fractions the same way you work through this decimals, but as you see, you just get in the habit of using the arrows and, and you can do with this, okay? Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, it'll help my YouTube ratings, and remember, math can be fun. You have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.